Hello and welcome back to another Bedrock Edition tutorial with me, Elven Dragon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a very simple turtle ticking gold farm that gets about 76 blocks of gold per hour in the form of about 195 gold ingots and over 4,000 gold nuggets. All right, so just a couple of quick notes before we get into building this farm. All of the materials needed are on the board behind me. And this farm can be built on its own or as an addition to the grits farm. Link in the description to that tutorial. And so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the very first thing that you're going to want to do is build up a max size nether portal. So 23 by 23. All right, so once you have that in place, you're going to want to place four temporary blocks here on the side of your portal on the negative X or the negative Z direction, depending on which way you built your portal. So to build the circuit that's going to be turning on and off the portal, you're going to want to place an observer facing up on the second block, dispenser facing in on the bottom, observer on top facing down, and dispenser on the very top facing towards your portal. From there you're going to want to build out two solid blocks behind your top observer. Place a sticky piston under your second block, compare to reading off the top dispenser, and a piece of redstone dust behind it. Now just quickly shut off this clock. Just place a lever or a button on your sticky piston, and stick a lever on the bottom of your dispenser here to serve as an emergency cutoff switch. Now at this point you can place your water bucket inside your bottom dispenser. And if you intend to use fire charges with this farm, place a temporary block in front of the top dispenser, trap door on the other side, flip it up, and remove your temporary block. At this point you can place your flint and steel and fire charges in the top dispenser. If you just want this part of the farm, once you place something in that dispenser, the comparator will activate, powering that redstone dust and that piston, and completing that circuit. Now the next step of this farm is to build the catch tray, which is only needed if you are building this farm on its own. For that, just place a solid block underneath the bottom edge of your portal, another solid block on either side, and an additional solid block in the positive X or the positive Z. The reason for that is that piglins will spawn on the positive X or the positive Z side of the portal, depending on its orientation. And this just allows you to quickly catch all of the piglins. So now just go down the length of your portal with your solid blocks all the way to the other end and build up a small ring. Now up here on the top, you're going to want to build up another two or three blocks on the two edges and two away from the side. This will just prevent any piglins that get into the water stream from this dispenser from escaping your farm. After that, just place down another layer of solid blocks below the first on the long ends of this rectangle and leave the two middle parts of the shorter ends clear for now. All right, so now on the shorter ends, just place two stairs on both sides and go down below them with some packed blue ice and go out by six blocks. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go down a block on both sides and connect up the two edges and fill in the gap between that ice and the wall with more solid blocks. From here, you're gonna to wanna to go back on top of your wall, waterlog those two stairs on both sides. This will cause all of the water to flow in towards the center. And at your center, you're gonna to wanna to break out the two blocks of ice, place in two buttons, doesn't matter which side, and on whichever side you didn't place buttons, break out those two blocks as well and place two more buttons. This will give you a two by two space for your piglins to drop into, and this will lead into your kill chamber. From here, you're gonna wanna go down about two or three blocks, 
and place your pistons, one on each side in a spiral, like so. Solid blocks next to each one of them. And you might as well just fill in your corners just to make sure no piglins will escape. Now at this point, just chuck a couple tridents into your pistons. When those activate, they will be pushed into the middle and go around and kill your piglins for you. So now just build up a floor below that and go out one block on each side. This is where you will put your circuit that is powering your trident killer here. So to build up that circuit, just place a solid block in each of the corners. Redstone repeater going into and out from each of those blocks with some redstone dust in the middle. Grab out another lever, place it on one of the corner blocks, give it a quick flick, and you should hear your tridents being pushed about. Next, you're going to want to drop down below your kill chamber here, go down a couple blocks, Build up a nice little V like so. Place in a chest in the front there. Hopper leading into that on the fourth corner. Set down a circle of rails on top of the center blocks and the hopper. And set down a hopper minecart on top of that. From there you can have that lead into your storage system if you want. Or you can just have a bunch of collection chests. You're going to want three double chests for each hour that you AFK at this farm, probably more depending on how much of the rotten flesh you wish to keep. Now that you have your kill chamber set up, you can now go all the way back up to the top, put in your flint and steel or fire charges, and that will start up the circuit. Your portal will start ticking and piglins will start being spawned and dropped into your collection streams. That is going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and consider subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye!